Welcome back. Another day, uh, another episode of Noi Outdoors. I understand that I've been really bad with the uploads lately, uh, the consistent uploads. Uh, I'm sorry. But uh, I just I just got back in school and stuff, and I'm still trying to transition back to that. So if you can understand, then drop a like down below and uh, comment if you understand. Today, homemade minnow trap out of items that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Thanks, guys. Hope you like it. Hope you like my new haircut. Stylish, huh? Comment down below if you think it's stylish. Okay, first of all, I will show you what exactly we're making this out of. So, well, this doesn't really matter. This is like just some little uh, craft craft box for like scissors, glue, that kind of stuff. Side things that you can move out and stuff. Uh, a couple of those. But, I will probably transform this into a tackle box. Next, going to use basic net trash cans. As you can see, or like metal mesh. But as you can see, these are definitely not the best of quality. Because um, it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So, I got two of these. These are our superstars of today's video. Next, basic bread ties. I've collected these over like two or three weeks. So, uh, I'll, I'll use these today. Now, I did kind of fiddle around with this last night just to see if it would work. Like, I, I just put these together with the bread ties. And so, I thought, wonder if the minnows could poss- or whatever I catch could possibly escape through these holes. Uh, you can kind of see the size of the hole there. Yeah. Uh, comment down below if you think that they can get out. Uh, as you can see, I'm not an expert, obviously. So, anyways, we'll start. So, first of all, you're going to want to take these handles out. Out of both of them. Bad handle. So, place them on top of each other. Wow. Wow. Next, take the bread tie. So, what I did last night was I took it in through the top one above the little hoop. Well, first of all, I bent that, stuck that in through there, and baboosh. So, I twisted it around to the other basket hole, and then I stuck it through the little, little handle hoop. One second. Or at least what I'm doing is, it looks a little bit like that, as you can see. So, you push them together as much as you can. So, kind of twist them up. So, you pull them tight, twist them. like that, like three or four times, just push it up. That'll work for now. Now we'll put on our next bread tie, and I'll get this done and I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so it's actually like, it feels too good to be true how like solid this feels. Look, it's friggin' solid. Like it's really solid. Take that. Okay, so if you want to and if you get, get froggy, froggy, so if you want to take one of the handles, you can stick it in through here, through the top. Same thing on the other side. And now, you have a little something that you can tie the rope to. Yay. Or pick it up or whatever. But that, that would honestly make it a lot easier. But as you can see, it's, it's like pretty solid. Uh, and then, well, yeah, that was... Uh, 
hopefully we'll get to test this out soon. Hopefully you'll see this in uh, a future video um, that we do, uh, or that I do. Um, and uh, this this just, honestly, it seems too good to be true how it works out. Like, it, it just feels solid. It feels solid. Um, if you have any other ideas for videos that I can do, put it down in the comment section. Um, if you have any comments that you would like to add about making this any better, chuck them in there. So, uh, yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to Nolly Outdoors. See you later!